Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to part 6 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 8, The Sacred Stones. Uh, sadly, I, I noobed a little bit and I managed to save over the um, introduction. Uh, so we're gonna jump straight into chapter 5 without the overland map sequence, but it's okay, it wasn't really that interesting anyway. Alright. Chapter 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Oh god, I'm gonna fight the Empire. Oh, here's the guy everyone loves. Well, well, there's an arena in this town. Perfect. My pocket's feeling a bit light. See, is that a cleric? It is, and a gorgeous one of that. I approve of your taste in women, Joshua. Something amiss, sister? You look flustered. Ah, uh, pardon me. No, pardon me. I never meant to startle you. May I offer my apologies? No, it's not necessary. It was my fault. Excuse me, I must be going. Good day to you. And there she goes. Not my lucky day. She was quite the beauty, too. Ah, oh, such is life. I think I've still to visit the arena, though. Ah, oh, I love this team. Captain Tsar of the Seraph you bought him. God, how fare you? I bring orders from His Majesty. Rumor has it that Princess Erika of Rene is making her way to Grado. You are to find her and place her into custody immediately. Yes, sir. One more thing. A traitor to the Empire has led Castle Grado. We've received reports that she is hiding somewhere here in Seraphue. I don't care if you have to tear this town apart. Find the turncoat. Yes, sir, General Glenn. If she resists, do we have the permission to execute her? Yes, permission granted. Understood. Grado's will be done. The Grado Empire will repay the debt of betrayal with blood. His Majesty relies upon you, Captain. Be sure his trust is not misplaced. That is all. Yes, sir. And the other guy, which people love. Such loyalty to the crown. If only I could hold such conviction in the righteousness of our Emperor. Something troubling you, brother? No, pay no mind to me. Come, Cormag, let's go. From here, we ride northeast back to the fort. Very well. It's been so long since I last visited Seraphue. My brother and I used to pass through here en route to Grado. I remember the harmony in which the people of both countries lived. No walls divided our borders, no soldiers stood guard in high towers. This border town, it was to me a symbol of trust between Grado and Rene. And now it is firmly under the thumb of Grado's emperor. The peace I remember in this city, it seems like something from another time. It seemed lost now, forever. The city doesn't seem to be very heavily patrolled. They must feel it's not worth guarding with Castle Rene under their control. We must try not to draw attention to ourselves. The West ga Gate is undermanned. Pardon me, may I ask you a question? Oh, it's Sala, aka Pent 2.0. What is it? I'm looking for someone. Have you seen a young girl with indigo hair? Indigo hair? No, sorry. Hmm, thank you. Sorry to intrude. There was something very odd about that man, wouldn't you say? He did seem unusual. He didn't strike me as a grotto spy, but... Catch her! Don't let her escape! That way! She went that way! What's that? It's coming from over there. Let's see what the commotion is. Yeah, sure, let's rush into trouble. Traitor Natasha, surrender peacefully. Come quickly, and you... Uh, come quietly, and you may have the chance to explain yourself before His Majesty. Wait, please! You must listen to me! Take her! No, you must believe me! The Emperor is not himself! You must be able to see that! Impugn the Emperor at your own peril. We've been ordered to execute you if you offer any resistance. But your words condemn you. Yay, trouble! That cleric is a traitor to the throne of Grado? What madness is this? Yeah, because pretty cute blonde girls can never be traitors, Erika. It just never happens. Jeez, you're so condescending. Ah! Are you alright? Who are you? I'm from Rene. Why are these Grado men after you? You're from Rene? Oh, I have something I must tell you. It's about Grado. Wait, Grado soldiers are coming this way? We'll have to talk later. Now we must fight. Alright, battle preparations. Well, Mulder the Boulder, you are benched. Vanessa, I can bring Vanessa actually, as a carry bot. Uh, yeah, right, I've actually already done the battle preparations for this map, because I had to restart it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give the Mulder staff to Natasha. Oh yeah, Natasha. Alright, so we can have Vanessa go visit the village. Uh, we can have Colm. Colm would actually be decent over here. 
It's so annoying that you can never configure the position of lords. Actually, if I remember correctly, if you have France up here, he should be able to attack from the get-go. Actually, now we're gonna do this. Alright, let us save the map and let us go. And here he comes. So much for my dreams of making my fortune here. First the girl, now the gold. It really isn't my lucky day. You there, mercenary. What are you doing here at the arena? Get back to the staging area now! Come on, why don't we both hit the arena? It'll be good training. If you're going to risk your life anyway, you might as well try to earn some gold. I'm reporting you to the captain. You'll be lucky if he just ducks your pay. Don't forget, you can be replaced in an eye blink, you filthy sellsword. Don't worry, little man. I won't forget. Works work, but I don't like fighting women. Now then, what's the rest of this game day got in store with me? Tails, huh? That's nothing but bad luck and more bad luck. This... they may not want to hear what I have to say, but... I must speak with one of the Grotto soldiers. Oh, if only one of them will listen to my words. Please grant me strength. Hint, hint. Wow, this game is really obvious about who it wants you to talk to. Uh, it's better than Fire Emblem 9, I guess, where it's like... Hey, this random dude appeared out of nowhere. You have no idea who he is, but... Yeah, he... You're supposed to talk to him with this guy. Alright, well... Uh, let's take a look at the straw poll, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Ta-da! Alright, so... First things first, let us take a look at Natasha. Where is Natasha, anyway? Number 14. She's barely more popular than Mulder with six more votes, but I'm going to use Natasha anyway. And of course, Joshua. I'm actually going to refresh to see if anyone has voted. Yeah, 110 fucking votes. Yeah, okay, I'm using him already. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Alright. Right. Ooh, that's my cursor. Alright, let's go. Well, first, of course, we have to take a look at Natasha, the blonde babe. Yes, my kind of girl. I like Natasha a lot, not only because she's drop-dead gorgeous, but because she has some extremely good-placed growths as a cleric. Um, so Natasha, what I love so much about her is the fact that her skill absolutely sucks. She has 25% growth in the thing, which is great because as a cleric, skill is basically a dumb stat for you. Even when you promote to a bishop, light magic is so damn accurate anyway, it doesn't really matter if your skill sucks. Sure, crits are nice, but with the slayer skill, you don't really need crits. You're pretty much going to be killing any monster that comes your way anyway. Um, so what Natasha has is an amazing magic growth. She has very good luck. She's going to be capping luck almost before promoting. And of course she has a magic wall as well. Her defense sucks, but that doesn't really matter when her avoid is going to be as good as it is. So yeah, we're going to be using Natasha. Of course there's someone else we got to take a look at also, but we'll take that when we actually recruit him. So, uh, let us go. I think from the get-go I can actually kill this guy, and I will, because France is amazing. Again, I gotta be careful about not feeding too much uh, <laughs> experience into France, naturally. And there's going to be a mini-boss appearing from here, which Colm can actually reliably deal with very well, alongside Erika. Send Natasha up here, because we do want her to recruit Joshua. We keep Naomi around as well. I can go visit the village with uh, Vanessa. Oh, it's Tedis. Oh, hello. Did you come to see me dance? Yes. I'm sorry, but I just finished a few mon moments ago. Oh, by the way, would you be interested in one of these items? A wealthy patron left me a small ransom in gifts after watching my performance. You can sell one for gold if you'd like, or use them to improve your skills. I simply cannot carry all of this by myself, so please take this one. Wealth is useless if you can't use it to bring happiness to others, right? Thanks for dropping by. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Who the fuck in their right minds gives away a Draco shield to a random straggler? I mean, come on. Really? It's like, hey, I just got one of the best items in the game. Here, take it. Well, Fire Emblem logic. So most of these enemies are actually stationary, if I remember correctly. God, Franz. With that steel sword, you can just one hit round kill. One, one hit round kill. That's a nice way of saying it. OKO. One round KO. Hit points, speed, and defense. Amazing. Afrance is gonna cap his speed, for sure. 
But this chapter it can actually be a little bit scary at times. If you're if you're too reckless, you can actually easily die, as you can see right here. Ron's taking a lot of punishment here. Here comes the mini boss. Look at this, now for trans. Come on, lads, let's join the fight and steal our way through this pathetic clown. So this is uh his name is just Bandit, but he has boss stats, he even has an affinity. I always think it's humorous how enemies have affinities in this game. So how you do this is you simply place Colm right here. And you could also place Erika right here, I guess. Naomi actually can't do much over here. See, so this guy has a move. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll place Natasha right here. Colm should be able to deal with this guy fairly easily. And can Jillian reach this guy? He cannot, sadly. He can throw a javelin though, so that's good. Da -da -da. We can place Franz here. He's giving me Iron Lance and having Trigger Vulnerary. And then Jillian should be able to finish off these archers. His accuracy is a little bit crap, but it should be good. Loot is extremely squishy, so what we can do with loot is we can we can um, bait this archer into going after her, which I think it will actually. Oh wow, I actually didn't think about that. The soldier can attack Colm. Well, that's fine. The bandit shouldn't be able to scratch him. So these uh, enemies, most of them are stationary from the get-go, and then as time passes, they start to, uh... What, seriously? That must be a broken iron sword. He he didn't double a fucking bandit? What the hell? Yeah, but as time passes, the enemies will slowly start to move one by one. I, I kind of like that formula, actually. Instead of having, like, stationary enemies and then mo mo uh, mobile enemies, you have, like, mobile enemies, or stationary enemies, which gradually become more and more mobile. Will loot actually double this guy? She will not. France is taking a beating. So Joshua uh, is very scary. You want to be luring. You want to be gradually luring the enemies away from uh, Joshua so you can go recruit him. I don't think Joshua moves. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. The Slim Lance is actually a decent weapon on Jillian because he struggles hitting and the Slim Lance has a lot of hit on it. And he has enough strength to make it work, so... Uh, I'm actually gonna do this. Let's equip the Steel Sword. We have so many vulnerabilities anyway. It doesn't matter if we use one. Might as well play it safe, right? Uh, I think Naomi can probably assist here. Get a, getting a kill. Oh, what?! You gotta be fucking joking me, right? Huh. Really? Oh wow, that's bad. Oh well. Okay, I actually really want to kill this soldier. So I'm actually gonna consider whipping a fourth my uh, rapier. Maybe I should just kill the boss. Can't kill him, sadly. Oh well, he's not gonna hit me. Not with 39% chance. Come on. Yeah, there we go. The rest of the bandits should fall relatively fast. Let's see, we could probably use Vanessa for something. Just gonna make sure she doesn't get attacked. She's a nice rescue bot, if anything. Pretty easy to grind up thieves in a game with that always starts out with a lot of axe users. I wonder who the boss will go for though. Alright, that's one of the fighters. As long as I can lure the other one around Joshua away. Oh wow! Huh, that's a crit. And Jillian's gonna make short work of this guy. Soldiers are so slow in this game, I actually think Jillian doubles them. Yeah. Soldiers are like as slow as Revenants. It's absolutely pathetic how slow they are. Da, 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 da. Hit points, skill, and defense. Skill is nice, so you can hit things a little bit easier, but... 
And again, the boss loves Kolm. I don't understand why Kolm does not double this guy. He must be really fast. So, uh, how to pull Joshua can often be uh, quite intimidating. He will attack Natasha if you bring her close to him. Uh, which is quite scary. Uh, so what you want to do most of the time is you want to just use Jillian and stand on the forest tile. That way, uh, Joshua will just work on kill Jillian, even if he crits twice. Because Jillian's defense of 11, which will be 12. And Joshua will do... I uh, can actually kill Jillian uh, if he gets a double crit. I think Franz might be good, though, because he won't get doubled. Franz has 9 defense, which will translate into... Uh, 8, 16, 24. Actually, yeah, on full health, Franz will not be killed by a Joshua crit. I'm actually gonna go around here. We don't need to heal up. Not now. And if Kom deals a blow first, we should be able to kill him with Erika next time. There we go, level up for Kom. Strength, speed, and luck. Not bad. Da, 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 da. Let's just rape here this guy. And the reason why... I, ooh, critical. The reason why I moved our other forest there was simply just to save some movements. I like to try and complete chapters quickly if I can. Hit points, luck, resistance. Nope, ain't leveling strength today. It would appear. But we did get a weapon level increase. Alright, um... We can kill this archer at the very least, but I'm a little bit afraid of that uh, fighter. But what I can do is I can simply just rescue her away. There we go. And let's see. I, I think this guy is stationary, I'm pretty sure. But if we can at least do some damage to this guy... Yeah, I think loot just needs to back off. She can take one axe to the face. She's not that squishy. 16 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We place her here and heal her up. We should be good. You don't really need to use the men staff here, but the men staff does give some nice ex or does it give more experience in this game? It gave me 12. I'm actually not sure if it gives more experience in this game or not. I'm actually a little bit unsure. Boom. Does loot double this guy? Nope, she does not, so we'll need some help here. Franz should be able to help out. Bow! Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, yeah. Normally... If you level a little bit more defense on Jillian, he should be able to survive Joshua's critical. But sadly... Okay, I'm actually gonna see how much experience this gives. Does Mend and Heal give equally much experience? It looks that way. We went from 12 to 23. Uh, okay, I I guess. Anyway, let's equip the Slim Lance. And Jillian should be able to help out at least. Yeah, we should probably just attack this guy with Colm, I think. While loot backs off, we can rescue her. Like so. Rescue such a good mechanic. Alright, and Jillian, of course. He shouldn't get close to Joshua. This guy has an iron lance. We could go have some fun with this mercenary over here. Oh, well, that's not in the range of Joshua, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. If it is, then I'm a little bit boned. I'm pretty sure Joshua can't attack him from there. I might just have screwed up. Yeah, no, it's, I'm fine. There we go. So even if he got a crit right there, he wouldn't have killed me. Alright, bandits appearing. Alright, let's go recruit this guy. You! You're that man I met! Are you here to capture me? You've been hiring to silence me, haven't you? Yeah, Grado's paying the bill. They want you dead, you know. But I don't feel bad. It, but don't feel bad, it's not personal. 
Wait, please! It doesn't matter what happens to me, but you must hear my words. The Emperor of Grotto has changed. He is not the man he once was. The other nations must be warned before he extinguishes all light from our lands. Hey, no offense, but I'm just a mercenary. I don't care about Grotto or its Emperor. Everything you say may be true, or it may be lies. I don't care either way. But that's... Even so, killing a beautiful lady like you would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Tell me, do you like to gamble? What? Gambling's what I live for. Even when I lose, I never want to stop. Let's have ourselves a little late wager. If you win, I'll believe you. Heads or tails, you call it. You can't... This is no time for games. Would you rather I get on with the job I was hired for? Uh, heads. No tails. Alright, so I'm heads and you're tails. Here we go. Which... Which is it? What do you know? It's tails. You win, figures. I haven't won anything all day. Well, Lady Luck has spoken. Guess I'm on your side now. Are you serious? Yeah, sure. I might cheat, but I never war warm out of a bed. It's a rule of mine. Huh, oh, thank heaven. Thank you, blessed light, for your protection. I got nothing against heaven, but I'm right here if you want someone to thank. No? Well, get behind me then. I've got to take care of these fools. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Uh, right, let us give an iron sword to Joshua at least. Uh, here you go. Let's drop loot. And here's an iron sword for Joshua, because we don't want to be wasting that awesome killing inch now, do we? We don't want to go too close to those soldiers. However, let's see, Josh Rush 14 health, we actually want to be a little bit careful right now. Josh and Natasha also has a really good support with each other. And there we go, Jillian can take care of that guy from across the wall. And... Let's build up Coleman and Amy's support, shall we? Vanessa can visit villages. Alright, forgot to turn this animation on. And we need to talk about Joshua, naturally. We are, of course, going to be using him, as he is, like, the most popular character in the world. Ha! <laughs> almost forgot to talk about him. Alright. Hit points, strength, skill, speed, luck. Wow. France level up. Much good. Very strong. First things first, let's turn Joshua's animation on. Here he is, the guy everyone loves, Joshua. Might be one of the most popular characters of this game. So yeah, Joshua, he is basically your classic Myrmidon. Has very high hit points growth for this game. Um, not the best strength growth around, it's actually rather low um, at 35%. His skill and speed, very good, but that's to be expected from any Myrmidon. For being a guy that is all about luck and gambling, his luck growth certainly isn't that good. But, you know, 30% is good, I suppose. And then his defense is nothing spectacular. But then again, he's a Myrmidon. He's just going to dodge everything anyway. I'm not a big fan of uh, Myrmidons and Swordmasters in general. Being locked to swords is pretty damn terrible when magic swords are so far and few in between. And especially in the Game Boy Advance games where you don't have a magic stat, and thus the magic swords will always be kind of bad. They also can never crit, which doesn't really synergize well with the crit bonus Swordmasters get. Um, promoting Joshua to an assassin is always bad because uh, assassins are terrible in this game. I don't like them in any of the games, to be quite honest. They got low caps and silencer is a stupid skill that, you know, never really works. Uh, so yeah, but we're still gonna be using Joshua. Uh, he's decent, I suppose. And he gets the hard mode bonuses, which, you know, is nothing to, sh to scoff that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to build the support between Nash Natasha and Joshua, because it is actually a really good one. Uh, let's see, can we kill this guy? I'm pretty sure we can, um, but maybe it's better to go for the soldiers. Actually, we don't, we don't need to use Franz to go for the soldiers, instead it's probably better if we just work on the support between Franz and Jillian. Because um, Franz is so overleveled right now, I don't want to give him any more experience. Hit points, strength, speed, and defense. Awesome, he leveled speed. It's about fucking time he did. Yeah, hard mode bonuses are always really nice. That's the reason why Rutger is so good in Fire Emblem 6. And we, of course, we need to get some levels into loot as well. 
we have a lot of dudes to heal. We should also visit the armories and shit to see what we can get. Life in Seraphue's been harder since the Grago occupation, Grad occupation force took over here. Seraphue's got Rene citizens as well as Grado, but it's been hardest on us. They've singled out families from Rene for the most awful atrocities. Please, traveler, take this sword. It's an armor slayer. It'll cut through even the strongest armor. Take it and strike down that black hand saw. Oh, that's gonna go to Josh Joshua, then. How heavy is the armor slayer in this game? It's weighs 11, so Joshua will lose out on 3 points of speed, which shouldn't be that bad, to be quite honest. And, uh, Naomi and Colm... Why are they going this way? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I'm just kind of working on... Oh, right. Reinforcements. Anyway, let's go and, uh... These guys can go take out that guy. Let's go visit the store. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, 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 bum. Let's buy a fire and a little, maybe a lightning tool. And let's buy a heal stuff and maybe a vulnerary. Are vulneraries cheaper in this game? Because it sure looks that way. I remember there being more than 300. Alright. Um, let us see. We're not going to be using the arena, that's for sure. We should be able to single out these guys. Let's heal up Joshua, make sure he doesn't die. Then we can use Erika like this. And we can move in with Loot as well, but she still needs some more healing to be useful. Let's go visit the village. In my youth, I was a knight of some renown, I'll have you know. You have even crossed blades with one of Grado's most famous generals I have. Ah, oh, but I am an old man now. I'm starting to worry. What if I die without passing all my techniques? So I decide to write down what I've learned in a book. I have it here. You seem like a strong warrior. I'd be honored if you would accept it. Ah, secret book. Hmm. I'm actually not sure who I'd give that to. Um, there are many people who would benefit from a secret book, actually. I think Jillian would. Oh, wow. It's usually one of the rare cases where I don't want Erica to score a crit, but I don't think the other soldier... Actually, the other soldier is totally in range of her. Uh, am I dead? Nope. Very close, though. Yeah, that was scary. And Erica's about to use up her rapier. We need to get her a few more iron swords. Yeah, I need to make sure those bandits don't rob the villages. That'd be bad. And here goes Colm and Namies. They might get a B support this level. That'd be nice. I actually didn't check for stealable stuff. I need to be better at that. It's too late now at any rate, but still. I always try to steal as much shit as I can. Usually at this stage, you can only really steal vulnerabilities. There's no gems on enemies. But you should always be taken, be careful and look. Strength, speed, luck, and resistance. That is a good first level up from Naomi, actually. Naomi levels strength a lot, so that's always nice. Alright, so let's, we could use Vanessa to visit this armory in the village. Uh, Erica needs some healing. Can I actually kill all these guys? I should be able to. I can always use the uh, killing edge, and I think I will, just to make sure I actually get the kill. Of course, the Myrmidon curse is that you, if you crit, you always get your critical on the second attack. Always. That's just how the game works. Oh, I actually cannot kill this guy unless I get a crit. That's too bad. Wait, can Joshua actually take another hit? Uh, 13 hit points, 17 damage, ouch. She's gonna have 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Ah, we're fine. We are absolutely fine. This guy doesn't have a hand axe, does he? Nope, so loot is safe. I'm gonna give loot some kills early on. She's gonna become very valuable later on, but she needs some experience to work, as most units. Magic! And if anyone wonders why I'm not using the arena, it's on purpose. Yes, that's one of the rules I've set for myself this Let's Play. I'm not going to be using the arena. 
Well, I should have. Fuck, I should have swapped his weapon around. That was a little bit stupid of me. Alright. Defense! Good level up, Joshua. Good level up. Oh, it's about time I get some terrible level ups. Am I right? Alright, um. I got an armor slayer for you. We'll go have fun with that. But we need to heal him up first. This boss doesn't have anything stealable, does he? He has a javelin, that's about it. Oh, we are gonna... Is Joshua actually gonna kill the guy? Oh, he is totally gonna kill the guy. Alright, well... We're gonna go visit the armory first, before we do anything else. So, support? Nope. Support? Nope. Alright, let's go buy some shits. So we need another. St we actually we need two steel swords because steel, steel swords are. Okay, I just think I, I think I just bought bought three. All right, let's get a lance. I should have got my steel lance actually. That was a little bit silly of me, but okay, it's fine. I really want steel swords because they're really good in this game. Yeah, that's a dead boss. Meanwhile, we can heal up people, and we mustn't forget to visit the village. Hope everyone's well back home in Silva. Just a bit more and I'll be in the Empire. Let's see, I got vulnerabilities, antitoxins. Oh, I can't let myself forget torches for when it gets dark. Yep, I'm all set. Now I just need to get to the capital. I'll be the finest soldier and brother I've ever seen. I swear it. Hmm, what's this? Oh, Amelia, you dropped your torch. Silly girl. Enemy of the Empire. That's too good for you. Oh, come on. Alright, now he's going down. Just checking for supports one last time. But nope. Well, you're gonna go down. Might as well give the kill to Joshua. Oh, come on. Ow. Emperor Vigard, glory to his majesty! Hit points, luck, defense, and resistance. Again, are we gonna get a strength screw, Joshua? Because that does happen. That was a tight spot. Yes, yes it was. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay... You're from Grotto, aren't you? Yes, my name is Natasha. I was a servant to the Empire at Grotto's Imperial Temple. Why would you trouble with the so why the trouble with the soldiers? Would you tell us your story? Of course. A few days past, my mentor was arrested without warning. They executed him. They say he was a traitor. But those were false accusations. The emperor had him killed, a holy man, to keep him silent. Keep him silent? Yes. My mentor told me with his final breath, the emperor plans to the emperor plans to destroy the sacred stones. The sacred stones? Destroy them? As you must know. The Sacred Stones draw back the power of the evil long ago. Even now, each of our nations is home to one of these legendary treasures. There's one in my home, Langrado, and one in your Rene. Yes, this... yeah, I thought that was Seth. Yes, the Sacred Stones of Rene is still housed in our royal temple. The Emperor plans to destroy the Five Stones one by one. Why would he do such a thing? Legends say the Sacred Stones are even now all that keeps evil at bay. I cannot begin to guess his motives. You must know, our Emperor was a gentleman. But one day he changed, utterly. Before my mentor died, he said the keepers of the sacred stones must be warned. I tried to slip across the borders, but the soldiers spotted me. Is that what happened? What do you think, Seth? I think we can trust no one from Grotto, not in these times, not without proof. However, if what she says is true, we cannot ignore the danger we face. Destroying the sacred stones? We cannot allow that to happen. I agree. If only we knew there were some reasons... If only we knew if there were some reasons for the Emperor's actions. I must tell you, her story chills me to the bone. I pray it's false. A moment, please. Are you perchance Princess Erika? I am. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I can't tell you how happy I am. Please accept my gratitude for driving off that Captain Tsar. That Tsar treated all the citizens of Rene with such content and brutality. Not here. Not in this city. My brother and I spent such happy times here with Leon. I beg your pardon, but it will not be long before Grado sends more troops. Please, you must go quickly. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can do for you now. Please forgive me. 
Do not be troubled, Princess Erika. We will survive and wait for the day of liberation to come. There will be a day when you, Prince Ephraim, and all of Renee's rise up. Until that day, glory until that day of glory comes, we will wait unbowed and filled with hope. Oh. I think that's for um I think I got that for saving the villages. That's really nice actually. You get your first guiding wing so early in this game. Oh well, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you do. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.